Yo, 2014 Hyundai Sonata. The victim's complaining about the seat not going up and down. She says it goes up but not down. Apparently the whole seat's supposed to go do something. There it goes. I can fan dangle it and make it work. So I'm assuming that it's got a bad switch. I had her order this part off of Amazon. It was dirt amounts of cheap. So I hope I'm right about this. We'll see if I can make this work. I've never taken one of these off before, so I'm just gonna kinda wing it. I'm sure if you're some kind of fatty, this thing probably would have already fell right off. But um, I think there's some clippy things in here or something, so I'm just gonna take my fancy tool here and, I don't know, give this thing a recline. Try this tool maybe. Kind of looks like, oh yeah, like I can get something off there. Oh yeah. Wow, nothing broke so far. That's pretty amazing. We got some stuff going on up here. Let's see what's going on with this. Hmm. Got some funky push in tight clippy things in here. Maybe I can bust this out of here. Oh yeah. Take this front panel off somehow. Oh wow. There's a Phillips screw or something under here. Okay, I got that much loose. I didn't break anything yet. Looks like there's a screw in the front of this. If I look underneath the seat, there's a funky little clip right here. I'm gonna try to get a... That clip, I gotta get that out. Try my little panel popper tool. It's kind of in a bad spot. Like really bad spot. Jeez, wow. <laughs> and I broke the little clippy thing. That was entirely interesting. Now that I got that front panel kind of out of my way, I got a Phillips screw behind this panel. Get that off. I think I got the thing out. I can just push in this tab right here and I got this out there's my dangling little front panel the other side still clipped in from the looks of it it looks like there's just some funky little tabs like four of them and you just gotta pry it open this way and they pop out and then this one metal tab here Pull that straight out, I think. Looks like I gotta get some little knobs off of here. I'm just gonna try to get something back behind here and just give it a tug. Okay, that worked. Don't look like I broke that at all. Try to do the same with this one. I'm gonna push, push on this side to try to Get it to come straight back and blammo. That didn't break either. Amazing. And it looks like this one stays. 
Yeah, I don't know what's going on with this thing. I don't need to care either. Three Phillips screws. Number two Phillips. Pop that out. Pop that in. These don't need to be very tight either. Just kind of get them to zero. You don't want to go reefing on these. They'll strip out the holes like so. Okay. Looks kind of like this one can go either way. Doesn't much matter, I don't think. And that don't want to go in there for whatever reason. I guess it only does go one way. Try this one now. Okay, that's it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is plug this thing in. Make sure it works. Down. Up. The tilt thing. There's the tilt thing. Forward, back. Recline up, recline down. Looks like I got it. This switch must be for lumbar or something. I can hear it buzzing. Oh yeah, the seat's moving up and down here. Okay, so that Chinese switch works. Nice. I'm going to try to snap this in here, try to get the slot in the slot and the grooves in the grooves. Put a screw in the hole. Oh, nice. Wow, what do you know what's in there? I'm going to try to stick this thing in here now. Oh, looks like I got a little groovy thing right here. I got to try to stick in the, the thing and the stuff. Okay, like that. Okay. And since this little clip broke, it wouldn't pull out in one piece. So I busted the button off the top and just pushed it up through the other way. I went to Napa and I got a bag of these. Cost me way too much money. I think it's going to fit though. I'm just going to finger my way around and try to find a hole and stick it up in the hole. And it fit. It's up in the hole. And it's a job. Okay, bye.